What's up everyone? So it's time for another pressure washer maintenance video. This time we're going to be changing the oil. The tools I'm going to be using for this job are a 12 and 14 millimeter socket, an extension, a ratchet, torque wrench, 10 weight 30 oil which is required for this engine, oil drain pan, some towels, and gloves. Okay, so it appears a 14 millimeter open end wrench or crescent wrench is going to be what you need to hold these locking nuts that are on top. So what I've decided to do, is now that I have the pump off, is I'm going to reattach the engine to the frame, locating the drain plug in this opening here. So now, as you can see, we've got the pump removed and easy access to the old drain plug. It appears that there is some gasket or self-sealing compound. So what I'm going to use is some ultra gray around the threads when I'm plugging this back in. So as you can see, I've had to raise this pressure washer up off the ground approximately three feet. The reason for that is you need to be able to get underneath and drain the oil and that just was not happening with the pressure washer on the ground. This engine requires 20 to 22 ounces of 10 weight 30 oil. What I'm going to do is go ahead and pour just a little bit of this in here because a quart is 32 ounces. And I just want to maybe get some of the old stuff pushed out of the way with the new stuff. Okay, so I've gotten the drain plug cleaned up got the old gasket off now it's time to apply some new you can use ultra gray or black and a little goes a long way The drain plug needs to be tightened to 120 inch pounds or 10 foot pounds. If you do not have a torque wrench, hand tight should be good. Just don't want to over torque it. And there it is. Always let the tension off your torque wrench when you're done. Give it a quick cleaning, put it back away. Take care of your tools, they'll take care of you. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and refill the oil. Looks like we're at right at 28 ounces left here. So 20 to 22 ounces, I need to come down to the 8 ounce mark. So now what we're going to do 
is reapply the water pump. And I'm going to use a little of the oil just to lubricate the shaft as I'm sliding the water pump back up. There is an aligning pan, so make sure that you line everything up according to that pin. And we're done. So now what I'd recommend is giving your engine just a quick pull just to see if everything's spinning properly. Obviously, with no fuel in the tank, it's not going to turn over, but at least you'll see if everything's moving freely. Those pulls felt pretty good to me. I hope you liked this video. 